hello all welcome back to the english class so in this module we are going to begin the chapter a thing of beauty written by john keats so in the previous module we saw the introduction and the background of the poem so this has been taken from the poem endymion written by john keats a young shepherd is going in search of cynthia the moon goddess so we'll begin with the poem straight away and look at what the poem says look at the first line or first stanza of this poem a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing let us look at the explanation in the first two lines the poet says that beauty is eternal it is forever it never fades away but instead our love for it enhances with the passage of time also beauty acts like the soothing relaxing shade of the trees which helps all the creatures to sleep peacefully and enjoy good health this is the summary of the lines that we studied now so let us look at the explanation a beautiful thing always gives joy to humans it will never pass into nothingness that is beauty will never die instead its loveliness increases according to the poet beauty is a quiet shelter for us that is like the peaceful shade of plants it provides us a sleep full of sweet dreams and good health and quiet breathing the poet says that a thing of beauty has a significant role to play in the life of human beings let us see what it is let us look at the next two lines therefore on every morrow are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth here the poet says that at every moment our desire to live further is because we encircle ourselves with our love towards these beautiful things as we get wrapped up in the beautiful flowery band we get a reason to live further the word morrow here means the following day next stanza spite of despondence of the inhuman death of noble natures of the gloomy days of all the unhealthy and over darkened ways made for our searching in these lines the poet is trying to say that without beauty the earth is full of gloom and sadness there is cruelty all around and lack of good natured people in the next line the poet is telling that it is this beauty the creation of god which removes the sadness and darkness from the mind and soul of human beings let us look at the summary of this stanza the poet says that a thing of beauty is fundamentally important to us because every morning we collect the flower like charm of the beautiful things around us and make a band of it the beautiful things give us a reason to live there are unhappy moments in our life we suffer from a lack of noble quality and follow unhealthy or evil ways so in spite of all this a beautiful thing helps us to remove the cover of gloom or darkness from our lives it makes us love life despite the things that make us sad and dampen our spirits so here the poet is trying to say the importance of having something beautiful in our life which will help us to forget the sadness or the dullness in our life let us look at the next line such the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep so the poet names some of the things whose beauty is eternal these are the beauty of nature the sun the moon greenery like trees whose shade is a boon for creatures like the sheep to rest under it the next stanza various flowers like daffodils make the earth so green so the poet is speaking about the things that make the earth very beautiful so daffodils makes earth green and lively and rivers full of clear waters cool everyone in the summers 
also the poet is trying to speak about the thick green bushes of forest fawn where beautiful fragrant musk roses bloom so all these are beautiful things that we can see in nature let us look at the summary of these lines the poet gives examples of things of beauty that give us joy and happiness examples include the sun the moon trees daffodils pure and cool streams that make the surrounding cool so there are summers in which the fair musk rose blooms and spreads fragrance around so in the stanza you can see all these beautiful things in nature that will make us happy so we have discussed all the three stanzas in this module we'll look at the next stanza in the next module thank you all